recently the University of Ljubljana adopted new regulations against violence, harassment and sexual assault. This was a very good, also very good learning process for the whole university and for the whole community, actually, for students, for, for teachers, researchers, and for the management of the university. Currently, the share of female professors is 30.4%, according to the Ellen Veha Women Professors Monitor. And Radboud University has set a target to um, reach 36% by 2025. We are actively implementing anti-bias strategies in our management teams and in our recruitment and selection processes. And we are actually conducting another gender pay gap research in 2022. Our special and separate program of Rosalind Franklin Fellowships, which is a program with tenure track positions for female, young, and of course, ambitious and excellent staff that will lead uh, to a full professorship in due time. And these positions have been created as extra positions. Our gender equality plan is an instrument that fights discrimination and promotes and favors good practices concerning life work balance, gender pay gap, gender balance in career and research, and gender and diversity mainstreaming in teaching and research. We have a publication on gender bias in academia that is handed out to all members of an appointment committee, and it hopefully helps them to avoid some of the pitfalls in the process of appointing a new professor. So at Warwick University, we've been working very hard at creating spaces for leaders to engage with diversity, but also to understand their roles as leaders and how they can influence the student and staff experience to be more inclusive.